the younger players that might feature on the weekend? Are there any that have been kind of taking your eye? I don't know how training works in yeah. terms of yourself. Well, like the, the majority of them haven't been in. You know, we've got three of them that are in full time, and the majority of them are, you know, at school or or have got jobs now and stuff. So, you know, S is seen a lot of them. I've seen a lot of them as well because on, on a Monday night I help out with the goalkeeping coaching with Ryan S and so I know a lot of them which helps you know when I was asked if I, if I would like to play in this game and you know to help S out you know it, for me it was it was a no-brainer I've got no issues with playing you know I want to play for the all the every game I can possibly play and you know for this club and you know I think a lot of people are sort of maybe looking down at it but at the end of the day I want to go out there and win the game you know it's as simple as that we're, we're representing Cali Fischl you know we have to go out there and perform. And I suppose, do you think this could provide much of an opportunity if they do kind of shine on the weekend to, you know, maybe... Yeah, it is. It's, it's, listen, it's a massive opportunity. You know, like, some of these boys are literally just, as I said, 15, 16 still. You know, and then there's some obviously a little bit older. But they've played games. Some have been in, you know, sort of training on in the holidays or at just one or two of them to get a little feel off for it. But the other side of it as well, you know, it's, it, it's a first-team fixture, this. You know, there's no... That's done. They're, they're, this is a first-team game. So they are representing Cali Fussell, they have an opportunity to make their Cali debuts, they'll go out there, the pressure's not on them at all. But they know as well, you know, it's a, it's a great opportunity for them to go out there and, you know, for looking for next year full-time contracts and stuff. Because, you, as you say, you get full in the deep end, and these boys, they are, and at the end of the day, the ones that's, you know, sink, they'll sink or they'll swim, so it's up for for these guys to go and grab the opportunity, and, you know, I'm obviously the old head there, it'll be able to hopefully help me through the game and, you know, bring the average age up to probably about 25, to be fair, but, you know, but for, for, it's, 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 it's so strange, but like, like I said, I'm, I'm, we're first team, I'm a first team player, I want to win games and, you know, these boys are the same, so we'll go and see what happens. Oh, I think you're being a bit harsh yourself by the average age, but no, that's <laughs> nah, No, no, <laughs> trust me, I'm, I'm saying these boys are 18, you know, some of them, I've been in a game longer than some of these guys, it's crazy how, how young some of the boys are, but there it is, it's, a, it's an unbelievable opportunity for them, so yeah, hopefully, as I said, they're going to enjoy it. So thanks. Mark, you're going to be there, one of the most experienced players in the club, standing behind a team of under-18s. How big a, a leadership role do you perceive yeah. for yourself on the field during the game? No, I think so. I think even, you know, as you said, throughout it, I've, I've got plenty of experience. Like I said, I've been in the game you know, 16 years now, and as I said, it's one of those, I want to play every game I can for this club, and this is another game for me, so I have to go out there and perform like I would, you know, playing in front of, of like our first team. But these guys know they know what I'm like. You know, as I get on really well with them, I speak to them all the time when I train, and I make them feel welcome when they're in and stuff. And they know that, and you know they'll give a hundred percent, and they know that, like me, like I always do when I play for this club, is I'll give a hundred percent. So, you know, it's just one of those. So they, they, I'm sure they'll be comfortable, and I'm comfortable playing behind them. You know, I've seen them play. They, you know, they're, they're a good bunch. They're well drilled. This is. S is a brilliant coach for them, he knows exactly what he wants from them and they know what Essex is, is S is going to expect from them. So, you know, for me I'm I'm really comfortable. That's why I had no issues of playing when I was asked. And do you expect to be fairly vocal in yeah, them? No, no, I will be, you know, I think I am anyway now, you know, I'm gonna to have to use that and I think you know, as I said, I can pass that on to them because a couple of the one of the defenders I know, like Marty Strachan, he's obviously been involved in the first team, he's full time here just now and he's he's you know, he's their captain and that's what we were discussing about, you know, as he like I said to like joking say to him, you know, about being captain. Listen, he's their captain at the end of the day. I said, You don't need an armband, you know, if if they give it to me, they give it to me. But, you know, he's a leader as well. So they've got leaders in that team, you know, but I think as I said it's it's one of those opportunities for them that they might not ever get, you know, and at the end of the day they're playing for Cali's first team in a cup game, so they have to go out there and perform, which I'm and I'm sure they will. And from your own point of view, how good an opportunity is this for you, from the point of view of possibly trying to get back into yeah. the starting keep, become starting keeper again? Yeah, like you can look at it that way, but for me, as I said, it's just a game. I've been given the opportunity to play again, and that's what I want to do, you know. The things, obviously, the last few weeks have not been playing and stuff, it's been, been frustrating, but, you know, there's nothing I can do about that. You know, me and the manager have had our, our chat and stuff, and at the end of the day, he picks the team and what he feels is the best team, and he's done that, so... You know, and I just have to go out there and perform like I have been, you know, and I think, as I said, as I said if it gives the manager a headache for the, the following week, then but I've been doing that ever since, you know, the morning game when I, when I come off at half time. I've been training the way I've been trained every single day at this club, you know, at a high standard, set myself, and, you know, if it comes to playing games or in training, I'll always give 100%. That's great, thank you very much. Thank you.